but well, I want to ask you, I guess it's a good qu- question to ask you out the gate um, before, because I know there's some things we want to talk about on, on this particular episode, but you are actually one of very few, um, not, not to make it seem like there aren't very many people who have done this, but who've actually moved from California to Texas. What has that been like for you so far out the gate? So I want to say I'm few. There's actually plenty, as you probably well, know. Well, few that I actually know. I can oh, that you know. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. It, it's definitely become a statistic, okay? <laughs> so yeah. everyone that I, I live nearby, uh, everyone knows at least, oh, for this everyone I've come in contact with, whether it's at work, in my neighborhood, or just like chatting at HEB, which is a local market, um, <laughs> they, all, they all know somebody that has come from California. Mm. And so like my neighbor to the left, uh, he actually came out in 2003 from San Jose, my neighbor across the street from Long Beach, my neighbor right next door from West Covina, the neighbor next to him from Long Beach. And I think the neighbor next to him, they were in DC, but I think they made a stopover like in Sherman Oaks at some point for a couple of years. Um, it's, uh, it's just, it's, it's been great so far. And so just like, there's just this, I mean, you feel like everyone keeps calling you know, Austin, I live in Austin, obviously. So Austin is, you know, like the little California or the new California. We're all coming out here. Right. Um, but it's for a reason, man. And um, it's been fantastic so far. Um, everyone is just so welcoming, regardless of the California label. Like, in fact, I've not had any kind of negative interaction with anybody from California, from being from California, as if they would have you believe, right? You know, there's the whole lingo, like, oh, don't California up my state. No one told me that yet. <laughs> uh, and I, I, I actually moved here, you know, to not do that. I moved here to be a Texan because I feel like uh, just where we are today is just um, everything that they're doing here and living their life is just way more in line with what me and my family want to do. Yeah. Uh, really, really mainly because of just the last few years. And, you know, being in California has been problematic for my family and just a lot of people in general ever since this thing went down. So um, it's been wonderful. You know, the sad part is, of course, is that I, you know, we've left you know, pretty much Southern California, Los Angeles, where you live and your family and yeah. our parents, um, a lot of close friends and uh, including my wife, um, you know, her, her family's all there. So it's been a bummer to move away and not have the family over for like my daughter's birthday, which was, yeah. you know, last week, you know, mm-hmm. it's like the first time that we've had like zero family. Um, but, you know, I, I, and I know you understand just, you got to make decisions that you feel are best for your family. And of course that is completely subjective to every family, every, every family, has a different need and just a different lifestyle that they want to live mine you know at this time is is led us here to texas and because of that we feel good that we made a decision that's best for our our family and we're happy that we followed it from the seed you know of a thought until actually being here you know owning our first house you know having a higher paying job that you know challenges me and has a very very high ceiling Mm -hmm. for my industry um yeah and just, again, just being nearby a lot of neighbors that are just super friendly and just super community oriented. And, you know, we live on a cul-de-sac too, so, um, which we've never done before. So like cul-de-sac living is like a different yeah. kind of living because <laughs> it's, it's almost like you get to kind of where the cul-de-sac starts and it's almost like this little sub neighborhood because you can walk out in the middle of the street and you can just chit chat. And the only people driving really into your cul-de-sac, into your street are the people that live there, right? Mm-hmm. So it almost becomes like this own separate little community of the people that live on the cul-de-sac. And there's really like this sense of like, hey, this is our cul-de-sac. This is where we all live and let's all get together. So like tomorrow, which is Easter, we got invited to our neighbor's house two houses away. And I think probably that neighbor that's having a solder over is having like four or five different houses on the cul-de-sac also come over mm-hmm. for Easter for a big brunch, you know? Wow. 